glaucoma is extremely common in this country um, and it needs to be caught early because once there's nerve damage you can't reclaim the damage you've got to treat it. I explain it to a patient by telling them that it's a little bit like having blood pressure. They need to have eye pressure but they don't realize they have it until somebody measures it because you don't get symptoms generally from moderately high pressure. If glaucoma is not treated the patient goes blind. It's as simple as that. How quickly they go blind really depends on how high the pressure is. The higher the pressure the quicker they're going to go blind because they're going to damage the nerve at the back of the eye. The treatment for glaucoma involves drops, laser or surgery. The vast majority of people are treated with drops. We have an enormous amount of much improved drops on the market now, particularly in the last 10 years. Prior to this, people would often have to put in their drops three and four times a day. Now, trying to get compliance with the patient to put in drops three and four times a day for the rest of their lives was extremely difficult and very difficult for the patient to try and do it. Now we have drops that may only need to be put in once a day. I love working here at Optegra and I suppose the reason why I would advise a patient coming here is exactly why I love working here. We have state-of-the-art equipment, we have dedicated nurses and technicians and we have a group of consultant colleagues who all are subspecialized in different parts of both medical and surgical eye problems. So it's state-of-the-art innovative concept.